ओके सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज एवरेज स्पीड एंड एवरेज वेलोसिटी ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सॉल्विंग दिस इट्स इज अ पर्सन ट्रैवल्स अलोंग अ स्ट्रेट रोड फॉर द फर्स्ट हाफ टाइम विद द वेलोसिटी u1 एंड द सेकंड हाफ टाइम विद वेलोसिटी u2 देन द मीन वेलोसिटी मीन अदरवाइज एवरेज वेलोसिटी इज ओके सो आई वुड एक्चुअली से दैट ओके ओके लेट मी जस्ट मेक अ स्मॉल करेक्शन हियर दिस इज नॉट u1 एंड u2 लेट्स मेक इट v1 एंड v2 Okay, so we have another question. So we have velocity v one and velocity v two. Okay, so see what I uh, often observe is students always try to you know by try to uh, mug up the formula, make it by heart, and then say that this particular equation works for this particular instant. No, that that doesn't work at least during the exam time. So what I what I would say is instead of trying to by heart things always it's better that you focus on the conceptual part and what is the concept here the concept is simple the average velocity is always equal to in respect to our situation is always equal to just one formula what is that that is total displacement upon it is the total displacement upon the total time okay and what is total displacement see very simple what is the formula for displacement displacement okay what is the formula for velocity velocity is displacement upon time so what is displacement displacement is velocity times time right now let us just apply this formula here so what we have here is so what we have here is velocity is equal to total, total displacement by time and total displacement is equal to velocity times time the whole upon what is the total time taken let us say the total time taken is t seconds now this velocity this motion has taken place in two different steps the body was actually moving from a to b but instead it took a path from a to c with velocity v1 moving for time t1 seconds and then velocity v2 from c to b moving for t2 seconds but the question here says that the first half time which means which means that t1 is equal to t2 and both of them are halves half of what half of the original time t so this whole displacement this whole displacement i can write it as i can write this whole displacement as ab right but what is ab ab is ac plus cb geometrically the whole upon t what is ab now so sorry what is ac see ac is this path traveled ac is this path traveled and what is this much path this is, is equal to the displacement here in ac is ac and what is the velocity velocity is v1 and what is the time it is v1 times t1 right or in other words let us see the other way around in the case of motion along cb in the case of motion along cb what is the velocity velocity is v2 what is velocity is equal to total displacement by total time what is the total displacement displacement is cb what is the time taken it is t2 now what is the measure of cb then if for the measure cb would be now equal to v2 times t2 simple now in which case we can say that ac is basically v1 t1 plus what is cb cb is basically v2 t2 and the whole upon this becomes t right now if you go further what is v1 t1 plus v2 t2 we can say that v1 times what is t1 t1 is t by 2 why because we just says half time plus what is v2 t2 t2 is again half time so this will become this will become what this will become t by 2 and the whole upon t which further becomes see what you can do is we can take t common from the numerator right so t will be common from the numerator and if we take that t outside what do we have we have v1 by 2 plus v2 by 2 the whole upon the whole upon t which basically means that t and t will now cancel off and what will we get we'll get v1 plus v2 the whole upon 2 for the final average velocity or the, the average velocity for the entire motion would be the would be the what would be the mathematical average right the mathematical average of the two velocities well i think it is only rare an equation where actually the average velocity literally means the average velocity 